Piper, a level four junior Olympic competitive gymnast. I went to a gym and it was really fun, but um, they didn't like compete or anything and that's what I really wanted to do. So I moved to Champions. Piper's been doing gymnastics as far back as I can remember, uh, but probably since she was three or four years old. Competitive is not for everyone. It takes a certain type of individual and you have to have a big love for the sport to go through everything that the girls do. You know, the nerves when they're first learning, what is it like to compete? You have these judges staring at you from across the table and you're a child and they're literally, their job is to judge every single move that you do. Before every rotation, we'll go up to the judges table and they'll like greet us and wish us good luck. And they always seem really nice. And then you do like a really good vault and you get a really low score. And suddenly you don't think they're that nice anymore. Piper did great at the North State competition. Uh, she tied for seventh place uh, and the top eight girls get to go on to the state competition. Yeah, I haven't gotten to vault at all this season. My Seavers had started to get a lot worse, so I couldn't really put any more strain on it. And my bones are growing faster than my muscles, so it's like always stretched and it hurts a lot. We can tell even if she doesn't want to admit sometimes that she is in pain and we have to have her sit down maybe sometimes when she wouldn't want to. I have to ice a lot and do all my PT stretches. If I do all of it, it would probably take like an hour. So when she gets home and she still has another hour worth of homework uh, and she's exhausted, uh, and sometimes things like physical therapy, uh, exercises slip to the side. They have almost no free time. We've had to turn down a lot of other things because of gymnastics. Even if they're doing very well, um, they look around at their friends and they see their friends able to do more social activities. Or if you're gonna pour into it, you make sacrifices on some level. And the athletes have to make a decision about whether or not they're willing to continue. When given the choice, she chose to keep doing gymnastics. She loves it. Who's cooler, Coach Tim or me? I don't like to pick favorites. Smart answer. Glitter spray, actually. Oh, glitter spray. Oh, that is my jam. <laughs> and I always tell them that if they put enough in their hair, they can blind the judges and they won't know if there's a mistake. I joke with I them that they're know. kicked off the team. I don't care if you like it, you're gonna put it on. This year, the Seavers has impacted her for really the first time, and specifically the vault. We've been doing the same thing on all the impact events. Vault, she was able to make it through today, but, and then next week when we're getting into the getting into the competition stuff, it'll be just kind of a matter of how good she's feeling. State's just state. It's just another meet where your hair hurts. And... Yeah. But it's an accomplishment. It's very painful because your bun is so tight, and it feels like your hair is going to fall off, and your head's just going to die. Yeah, it's so painful. <laughs> Texas is a very competitive state in women's gymnastics. It's all the top athletes, and so it's a completely different competition than anything you've ever been before. And so you feel that intensity. I'm so excited for Piper, and we're really looking forward to the results of state. So, very tight, lifting to your toes, show off and go big, okay? Okay. Go own it. As soon as we did our first warm-up before we actually started competing in any of the events, her foot was already 
is not happening. And what are you going to do for your vault? Walk early. Before that? I'll accelerate. When? In my room. Where's your bucket line? Hold my hands, hold my hands. Can you actually get your full weight on there or not? Okay, okay, that's fine. Sit down. Piper's going to take this. Um, she's got the drive and determination to go as far as she wants to, I would say. Uh, college would be fantastic. If she gets tired of it before then, well, that'd be all right, too. The number of times that you have to attempt a skill over and over and over again without success helps build into you that drive to push past failure and to understand that failure doesn't define you. It's just one of those things that you have to push past.